Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So I don't want to get away from this. There are comments. I'm going to get to everyone's comments here. Uh, the, so we're kind of in the realm of the future of the business. What do you see, you know, if you can, if you can give us some of that, where do you see the future of this going? I know you guys recently acquired, uh, well, I don't know, recently. What was that, a year and a half, Walt? Uh, uh, a year a and a half. A yeah, AR15.com. What's, you know, what's the future here? Um, we have started to, so AR15.com will make sense in this, in this story here. We started building the retro rifle based exclusively on the feedback we were getting from AR-15 before we bought it, before okay. we started to, to back the uh, Avias over there. Uh, so it became a, again, what's needed in the marketplace, AR-15 is kind of where our core customer lives. So it's customer driven products mm -hmm. versus I know what the customer wants and I'm gonna shove it down their throat, <laughs> down the channel, mm -hmm. right? It's customer driven products. AR-15 makes great sense because that's a great pool of, of uh, hardcore gunsmiths and gun, gun people who drive what we develop. Mm -hmm. So the future is gonna be, and that's what, that's what got the, uh, the um, retro rifles going. So, mm -hmm. and so the retro rifle model is direct response from, and I mean, not just an idea, prints, uh, testing, uh, original products so we could uh, back engineer it, that type of stuff uh, for the all the whole retro line. Mm -hmm. So the future is going to be, because it, it's here right now for us, where the community divide, helps develop product. Okay. The closer you are to the customer, the quicker you can respond, uh, the better you're going to do as a company. So you're going to see a lot more, for us at least, you're going to see a lot more products out coming out right now. The BRN 180s saw a comment. We're going to get those in a couple weeks to have them all in stock again. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the Gen, the Gen 2 of the 180s. The Gen 2s, yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are, those are that's how we're going to develop products. And we're also having partners out there who are really good at, at manufacturing, mm -hmm. at Aero Precision. Mm -hmm. Great manufacturer out there. They're a good partner on, mm -hmm. on uh, a lot of these products we make. So mm -hmm. the future is going to be driven by comments from the from you guys from the customers okay we have optics out there now again give me an optic that does these things so we work with the, our resources open the doors up and say okay guys who's who's got the best tube and glass and reticles and features so you guys are driving the uh the the product development okay. it's a great thing we're opening that up to our manufacturers as well to say hey guys Let's let's get some direct feedback from you guys. Again, using social, mm -hmm. using uh, the customer's voice. Mm -hmm. It should be done all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually in a real controlled environment that's based. I don't know. They tradi the traditional way is we're going to get a focus group together, handpick people who are going to vote yes on my idea. Mm -hmm. So I win in the public world, in my corporate world, no. we're going to develop. Well, that's bullshit. That's, I know. That, um, yeah, that's how a lot of people do it, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I take it, like, by, by getting into AR-15, that's kind of like getting in touch with the zeitgeist. It's almost like, yeah. so YouTube's pretty big. If you could actually get data from YouTube on what gun people were looking, you know, what kind of stuff do they want, what are they looking at a lot, you know, if you could do that, which you probably cannot. So AR-15, of course is a good source for you guys to kind of like yes. put your fingertips on that information. That's what you're saying? Right. Okay. Right. right. And, you know, um, we want to make sure that, it, that it's reflective of what the whole community talks about, um, not one individual or individuals may. We, we want to make sure that it's respectfully done in this world of privacy. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, that's a big movement that we're working for. Hopefully that flattens the curve, speeds up the mm -hmm. way that new products come to market. Um, we share that with the manufacturers like a, a Ruger and a Remington, a Glock. Um, here's mm -hmm. what the features customers really want, and here's the data where they say it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll, we'll come a lot quicker to the marketplace with new products, not just for us or through us, but for the whole industry. Things that we really want and okay. good feedback so it comes back, uh, comes back to things that we really, we really need as an industry. Yeah. So that's a big thing. Um, 
I think mass customization, one of the things I, I think out there that we need to do a better job as an industry, how do we help? I mean, my kids play this uh, Fortnite thing, right? Okay. You can get all kinds of different skins and all kinds of different things out there. Mm-hmm. How do we bring that to the real world so you can take that firearm to the range? Traditionally, you had to order 6,000 to 10,000 firearms and you have one pattern. Well, that's not unique. Mm-hmm. How do we bring uniqueness to the marketplace mm-hmm. in, in mass? Mm-hmm. And I think we need to, as an industry, we need to work on that. Okay. Um, as a gun shop owner, as you're making a gun, how do we help you make better connections with those people that have an expertise? They've already got their dip tanks. They've already got, maybe you're not a great designer. How do you do a, someone tie someone with a great design so it all kind of comes together in a fluid way to provide a great great product for a customer? I think mass customization is going to be a big thing okay. uh, right now. Um, okay, very interesting. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Walt. You got some thoughts here? No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to process mass customiza- customization. So um, in other so words, like what... customization, but getting more specific to things, but not necessarily wasting time building a bunch of stuff people don't want. Is that? That's a part of it. Okay. It's also, you build your AR-15, your core good AR-15. Mm-hmm. And right now, um, a gunsmith will, um, by the lower, the upper, the, the right specs, but I want a different color. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You'll make that. You can make that same gun for my buddy. I want a different color. So we traditionally do that by the paints. Yeah. But I want a print. I want a specific print. Or I want specific etching on mine. Okay. Or I want my name on it. Or I want. How do you do well, that in mass? So by network. So you're saying by networking a company. So if you know this company is close to the guy, you can bring that gun to one stage, send it off to this guy that's not far from him, and that guy brings it the rest of the way, kind of a thing. Kind of thing, kind of like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's done today, okay. but it's it's a bit clunky, and there's some rules around it. Mm-hmm. So that's that's part of it. Oh uh, yeah, there's but, a lot of rules. Around yeah, it. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they, you, they, when I say they, ATF doesn't want everybody handling everything and making money. You know, mm-hmm. like no. it used to be. You paint a gun, no big deal. Paint a gun. So uh, well, now yeah. you have to be, you have to be, you have to be. That's like manufacturing to the paint a gun. It, yeah. It's like, huh? What? Yeah. So we well, need to work through. Streamlining and the rules mm-hmm. and streamlining yeah. the process. But the, the more important thing is the customer, how do they do that at, on an internet interface? Mm-hmm. So how do you offer yourself up as a producer of product or things mm-hmm. and allow that, if I want a gun that looks like that, uh, Fortnite, whatever skin, mm-hmm. I want that. Mm-hmm. How do I get that? Yeah. So we want to have an interface that does that. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm hearing is, like kind of like a social network or a network yeah. at least where you can put people together. And that kind of leads into something that I've wanted to ask someone in your position in the industry. Um, with everything going on in social media, right? It's really tough for all of us, the industry folks, the content creators, the people out there who are just people and they're posting things and they're getting fact checked and shadow banned, blocked, kicked off, deplatformed, yeah. all of this stuff. Are you are you thinking about somehow um, getting, I don't know whether like buying into it or somehow working on your own uh, social media thing or making an ecosystem that we can all live in? Yeah, so that's, a, that's another big rise all boats be a tide AR-15 is internally and it, and it's and it's out there a little bit uh, we want to make that a freedom network okay free speech now that has um that attracts good and bad mm-hmm. with that mm-hmm. uh so uh you know i wish that social media would would be res- have respectful comments in there but you know you can't ban you know i'm fighting for free speech is fighting for the, the the speech that's least tasteful to you mm-hmm as long as it's yes so uh there is a network um, that how do you make sure that the servers the server farm all the stuff is hosted on says all right we're going to host things that are only anti-gun and we're going to shut you down so Mm -hmm. aws is a big one out Mm -hmm. there with amazon Mm -hmm. they may they may have a decision say all right no more gun transactions Mm -hmm. but you gotta have your own servers yeah and your own networks and all that stuff so we're working on how do you how do you do that? It won't be as big as an Amazon, 
mm -hmm. or as a Facebook, but it does provide a, a landing ground for people and hopefully we can monetize it like it used to be in the good old days, um, purely based on, well, it'd be ad revenue as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a way to create a network or a community that where we feel like we don't have to not kind of, you know, we kind of whisper that we're selling guns or we're showing guns, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it, it needs to, it needs to develop. And I, I think that we're talking about the future. There's a lot of talk right now about, uh, these big oligarchs that are running and controlling the culture uh, statements and, and what's being talked about, shutting people off. I know they struggle with that. When you ask them and they dive into it, like a Facebook and a Google and all those all those players, advertising models, they really can't, uh, in my mind, justify shutting people down. We've been shut down. You've been shut down. Mm -hmm. They can't justify it. Um, and you can't guarantee, there's no guarantee we're going to stay up. So we just want consistency and we're not finding it in those groups. So we need to provide that environment. Okay. So I'm going to assume. And that's what we're looking to, to, to grow into. That. Yeah. And yeah. there's a lot of good ones out there too. So Yeah. I, I think that that's, that's a really important part of this equation. I don't know if you guys are thinking about like acquisitions in the space or whatever or you know, um, yeah. in terms of of social media, because AR fifteen, I think, is a is a very early form <laughs> of, it is. of that a of a social media thing. Yeah, and I think there's other things out there, and and there's been platforms, right? There's a lot of platforms out there in the industry. There's Full Thirty, um, there's Gun Streamer, right. there's YouTube, there's other things. But um, I think the biggest problem these guys have is one support from the industry, two uh, like the eyeballs from the community. And then three, they have to figure out how to somehow uh, make it a two-way street for folks like myself that are content creators, right? But the, tr right. the truth of it is, going back to those numbers you were talking about, and numbers are really important here. I can tell they're important for you guys. Um, you know, if there's about 175 million people at the base of that pyramid going up to like 5 million diehard guys, there's definitely an ecosystem there. That can benefit a lot yeah, of people, but, you know, even though like YouTube and all of that's never going to go away, probably. Right. Don't, really, do don't forget, a lot of these new gun owners are not necessarily on our side. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. They're mm -hmm. buying guns because they feel threatened. Mm -hmm. They're not buying right. guns because they want to be a two Second Amendment patriot mm -hmm. or they want to go out. That's and true. do it. They feel they're scared. Mm -hmm. OK, so the natural thing is, okay, if I'm scared, I'm going to go buy something that's going to make me not feel, be scared, ask scared. Mm -hmm. Now, do they believe in the same things that maybe we believe in? Uh, not always. Yeah. I guarantee if you ask them, maybe maybe half do, maybe a quarter do, mm -hmm. but the rest are just kind of out there. Yeah. So to me, that's where you got to get to those folks somehow mm -hmm. without scaring them off. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will scare them off if yeah. you're too aggressive because if you start talking about one subject they don't like yeah they'll go run in the corner and hide mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it's a hard it's, it's a, a hard slow, sell it's, that... yeah it's a slow it's a slow game it's not like this quick game where you can somehow just inundate someone <laughs> with stuff like no it's not a you know it's a magazine not a clip and this thing and you're just smacking them upside the head and they're like okay well i had enough of this well even even if you start barking the second amendment you start barking this at them and barking this stuff at them they're gonna go who the hell are you? You know, I'm, I didn't right. get this because I was, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you'll and forever after when they hear Second Amendment, they'll go, I remember that guy that was trying to push me into this group for telling me I was, mm -hmm. you know, you need to be a patriot and bang your chest and, you know, do all this yeah. stuff. And it's like, mm -hmm. I think a big important part of it is keeping <laughs> that like there's a, you know, first of all, guns. None of us here is just all into guns. Right. You know, I mean, so we're, right. we're probably a, it's a big part of my life. Massive part of your life, Pete, generationally. Walter, I think it's the same way. But we we do other things. We like other stuff. Oh, so there I has have other interests, yeah. Yeah, there has to be a kind of balance and a soft sell instead of, no, we're trying to convert you over to this and change your whole life and make you, like, give up your friends <laughs> and not talk to your family members anymore. Right. <laughs> you know, we have to figure out how to do that. But here's the thing that's happening. You know... I'm going to try to stay on YouTube and Facebook and all of these places as long as I can. What that means is more and more I have to keep breaking down what I do because they won't yeah. accept it. 
So eventually, I if I just stay on Facebook and YouTube and all the other social medias, I'll be pretty neutered <laughs> in, a, in a few years, if that much, right? I'll be pretty neutered, and it will be senseless to not have somewhere that I can least, when people like, you know what, I really like this guy. If there's some, some deeper thing that I could get to, where can I go to see that? And it needs to be a solid place that I can stop like worrying about as much where, you know, every three months, six months, this is changing, that's changing, this thing's going away. This is, you know, we just, we need some kind of stability there mm -hmm. where we can maybe almost funnel off people slowly to go over here. Or one of these days we're going to turn around actually and they'll just go, that's it, we're done with all of this. No gun stuff, no matter who it's coming from. That's the big worry, eh? and And uh, that's, yeah, uh, AR-15 is a forum platform, mm -hmm. but there is the, the video that we're doing now platform. There is uh, instant messaging. There's a lot of services that wrap around that. The thing that many of the, the thing that's needed, there's some good technology out there. Mm -hmm. And you need two things. You need a lot of eyeballs and good technology. There's mm -hmm. a lot of technology that they don't have the, the, the financial support, the ad support, because mm -hmm. there's not eyeballs there yet. Mm -hmm. And and getting eyeballs, it took it took the Juan and Ed, gosh, twenty years to get to where they are. Yeah, we don't have twenty years. No, I, I think AR fifteen is a good so. thing just because they have the those built in backlinks, right? They've been doing this for a yeah. long time, and they've got those deep roots, you know. Yeah. Um, now, now we need to now we need to yeah put, patch it together, right? So yeah, acquisitions yeah. are part of that. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.